TFNN Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman, Tiger Technicians Hour, coming up straight off this TFNN noon update. The Dow is up 109. The SP is up 12. The uh, SMHs, the semiconductors, which usually lead the markets up and down, all time highs as well. Dow all time high, SP all time high, NASDAQ all time high, SMHs at 132.33. Up 2.21, all-time breakout high. This is really quite important. The IWM, which is the Russell 2000, is trading um, not as strong as it was earlier in the day at 159.70. Uh, not an all-time high. We're getting to that rectangle formation, the 160 strong resistance, um, pull, pulling back a bit, but still up 60 cents on the day so far, 158.76. And what we've got here is gold is pulling back a little bit. It's just down two at 1509. Stuck in that range. I mean, just that rectangle is a powerful medium, a technical tool that you can use. It says between 1520 and 1495. It's just kind of stuck until it breaks out on one of those two sides. It's going to be important. It is building some strength on the daily chart, but the price is the reflector of it. And the weekly chart says a little more consolidation, but holding really well in this rectangle formation. And if you look at the dollar, the dollar had a little bit of a rally earlier on. Now it's extending. It's up 20 it ticks at 97.43. It's made that H pattern, the lowercase H pattern that says, be careful. You We've taken out the 97.14 low of about, around about the 20th or so of September, ran up to about the just about 98, pulls back sharply to a lower low on Friday into leg D. This is very important because the, the MACD, the moving average convergence divergence histogram is improving. The, the MACD is trying to turn up and there's a W formation with the right side support level in the stochastic in the daily chart that says, hey, it could bounce. It could bounce to the 97.66 area, but we're just calling it bounces for now. That weekly chart is still very weak. And the TLT, and this is going to be very interesting, is down $1.84 at 138.72, meaning that rates are rising some. I showed that to my subscribers to my opening call over the weekend, how important wood was. Wood is the international, the global timber and forestry ETF strong again today. It's had a fantastic move over the last four months, uh, going from the 52 area to today's high of 65. That is a big move to the upside. That says is economic growth. It is actually taking place. I'm a little cautious here on the very near term, just in terms of the Dow, and we'll talk that, about that in my show coming up. Be right back.